Hello everyone. Today I have an exciting tip for you with which you can apply poses partially to another character in Das Studio. So there's no partial pose presets needed. You don't need any special tools for that. This is functionality that's built into Das Studio. It's just many people just didn't know about this, including me. So I thought I'm going to quickly share this tip. Thank you to Josh from Das, by the way, who shared that with us in the Discord server. So the thing is, you sometimes have a full body pose and you just want to apply what the arms do. Let me go bring up an example here from the emergency room poses. And if I go and scroll to the bottom, then there's this pause here. And if I go and just double click it to my figure, then this may happen. So there's two things that are going on here. The figure is moved into the position and of course the entire body pose is applied to the figure. So the first one I've already explained in a previous video, there's this little magic menu and that's kind of why I'm bringing it up. If you hold down control and double click the figure, then this little magic dialogue pops up here and we can make some adjustments. So for the translation, I can just go and remove the translation values. And then if I hit accept now, then the figure doesn't move. So that's kind of number one, but I've already explained that and I thought that's all this dialogue had to offer. Turns out that's not the case. If we just want to apply the arm pose that I had here just on, say, on the left, and then I bring that menu up again. So once again, hold down control, then double click your pose, then the dialogue comes up again and I can do something even cooler. And that's up here. If I choose instead of root, which would mean the whole figure, I can go and say select it. And that would mean that now only my selected node in the scene tab or in the on the figure, the pose will be applied to. So in my case, it's the left collarbone. There's another option here under propagation. This is set to recursive by default, which means everything underneath my selected node will also be applied. If you didn't want that, then you can set that to select it, but that's not the effect we're looking for. So look at that. Boom. Only the arm is applied. Is that cool or what? And I can do that on the other arm as well. If I go and select the right collar here or in the scene, doesn't matter. Control click on that. He'll go back to this default here, which you can change under preferences. If you have something that you want to set a preference to, you can you can do that on the preferences menu here. Uh, but we're going to go set, set this to selected. Once again, boom, now we have it on both arms. And the legs and the feet and all that, that stays intact. Works on multiple selections as well. So if you wanted to apply this to both the left and the right at the same time, you can just go and select both of these things. Control, click, hit selected and boom pose applied only to the arms. Is that cool or what? I had no idea that Studio did this. And just to um, reiterate what happens if I go and control click this, set this to selected, but then under propagation, I'm going to go and say the selected only, then only the shoulders are going to be applied and the hands and the arms are going to be left alone. So that's how that works. Isn't that amazing? It's one of those tips that I'm thinking, you know, we need to share that with people because this is something people need to know about. That makes applying poses in Dash Studio just so much more exciting and useful. So no need for additional tools, no need for partial pose presets. We can just extract anything we want from full body poses and turn them into partial body poses that way. Isn't that cool? I thought I'd share this tip with you.